right, so right now we're going to welcome the next team and Anu will be joining us again. Uh, so we have Project Capstone from Zimbabwe. Uh, this is a plagiarism uh, detection checker. So I'm excited to see what they built. Let's check out the demo. Capstone is a plagiarism detection software that sits on Google Cloud. It allows students, authors, and researchers to check their work for plagiarism to improve the quality of intellectual outputs. Capstone accepts text, PDF, Word documents, and images as input. In this demo, I paste a short article and submit for plagiarism check. A color-coded similarity report is generated and shows that I plagiarized 90% of the paper. It highlights the plagiarized content and shows the primary source document on Miles Hoover. In this case, the primary document is document 3034. Capstone is a cool feature which uses Tesseract or Sierra to convert images to text and check them for plagiarism. I have taken an image snippet and I'm going to upload it to Capstone and check for plagiarism from the image. It will scan, convert the image, and check for plagiarism as expected. Furthermore, Capstone allows users to view their documents in Google Docs, prompting them to edit, and it will eventually allow users to view the similarity report in Google Docs. To add to these features, Capstone also has an API that allows developers to integrate their solutions. Eventually, the API will consume Google Classroom submissions, download the documents, check for plagiarism and return the report via email. In conclusion, Capstone aims to make the world a better place by curbing plagiarism and improving the quality of intellectual outputs. Capstone, reimagining the art of academic integrity. Thank you. Hi, Team Capstone. Hi, you're all the way from Zimbabwe. Great to be here. How are y'all doing? We're doing great. Hey, thanks a lot. We're very much happy to be here. Great. We're happy to have you. And we also have Anu as well, who's going to be joining us. Good to see you, Anu. You too. Great. So, yeah, we'd love to get to know your project a bit more. And Anu has a couple questions. She took a, a deep look at your project and wants to know a bit more. I do. I was so excited to see that you're using Google Cloud. And then I think you're also using a bit of G Suite with your Google Docs. What was the hardest part of using both of those together? So actually, the challenge that we faced first is actually how to get started. So what happened is that at first, we did not have any knowledge on how we could do the solution or the plagiarism detector itself. And then we realized that there was something called developer sitting in class. So uh, I applied and uh, we got the DSC uh, in our campus. And then through Cloud Study Gems, DSC workshops, uh, we started seeing that we could uh, have really integrated our solution to cloud and uh, integrated even with GSET. So actually, through those, uh, we, we managed to get our solution together as well as help with uh, Google developer experts and all those. Mm -hmm. Super cool. That's awesome that now you have a product and then you're opening it up with an API. That's, you know, the same thing that companies around the world do. They start with a product and then make an API for other people to integrate. Uh, how, how do you envision people using your API? Okay, so we are planning on sharing the API with other developers so that they can use it to customize their own solutions. Great. Uh, what are your plans to scale up the service? Do you plan on uh, expanding it outside of Zimbabwe? Yes, we are planning on going globally. And uh, since we're using GCP, we're going to take advantage of the compute engine's load balancing so that it manages our traffic and won't have any problems with managing because we're expecting a lot of users. That's great. Great reason to use a load balancer. Uh, <laughs> I was reading that you, you actually developed the algorithm yourself for doing the checking. Uh, what was the process for that like? How did you test it out, designing it? How did it go? Okay. So developing the, the algorithm was uh, the most challenging, uh, but yet it was the most exciting part of developing Capstone. 
So the, the algorithm basically comprises of three modules, uh, module for extraction, module for indexing, and module for searching. So basically for extraction, we basically convert uh, PDF documents, Word documents and images to text. Then for indexing, we optimize the we optimize the, the document for storage so that they are easy to search. So for, for testing, fortunately, our institution was in full support. Uh, we managed to test the solution with the computer science department. So basically, we managed to have like 15,000 uh, documents and researches. We index them in our database and we allow them to with our solution. Cool. So what's next for Capstone? Uh, the, the, the next step is uh, rolling out. So our institution, we are, we are making, we are discussing with the institution so that it becomes our test partner. So as soon as we are done with testing, I will be rolling out with several other institutions in Zimbabwe of over 60 institutions which are willing to use the solution. And if it works in Zimbabwe, we are definitely moving out. Great. Great. That's that's awesome. And and we do want to hear from the audience, the live chat. Let's pull up a question and see if anyone has a question. So the question is, how did you crawl the web for plagiarism checking? All right. Uh, so basically, we uh, take, for example, institutional repositories. Uh, each institution has a website where they publicize their researches. So we scraped, we targeted those websites and, and scraped them using uh, Python, uh, Python scripts and, and the likes. And we also identified uh, journal websites and also we integrated to, to Google search such that we can actually search for plagiarism on the internet. Wow. That's great. Well, thank you so much for for talking us through your, your journey and your process of building this. I think this is definitely useful and it's a really cool project that you worked on. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to wrap up now, but it was so good to see all of you. Did, did you enjoy being part of the solution challenge and going through the process of working on a, a project together as a team? Yeah, definitely with them. It was it was actually a great experience. Uh, we became more of like family, you know, through the uh, all night hackathons together, the three of us, and all the nicknames and stuff. Bugs funny, and it was actually a very good experience. And we were just very much happy and excited that we actually have a product now and we are moving on forward with it. That's great. Awesome. Yeah, it's it is like a family, but you spend a lot of time together working yeah. on it. Yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Team Capstone. This was a really cool project, and we're excited to see what you do next. And thank you so much, Anu, for, for joining us for these last couple projects. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, everyone. Great. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.